In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to master the art of undoing actions in Microsoft PowerPoint. Whether you're a seasoned professional looking to refine your workflow, or a newcomer starting to explore the ins and outs of PowerPoint, knowing how to undo actions efficiently can save you a considerable amount of time and stress. So, let's dive straight into the process. First and foremost, to start making any changes or to undo anything, you need to have PowerPoint open on your computer. To do this, simply search for PowerPoint in your computer search bar and click on the apps icon to launch it. Once PowerPoint is up and running, you'll be greeted with what we call the opening screen. This is where all the magic begins. On the opening screen, you'll see various options, including creating a new presentation or opening an existing one. Since we're focusing on undoing actions within a document, we'll need to open an existing presentation. Browse through your files, and select the presentation you'd like to work on. Click on it and it'll open ready for you to edit. Now with your file open, you're free to make changes. You might be revising bullet points, adding new images, or simply experimenting with different layouts. Feel free to explore and adjust your slides as needed. Remember the beauty of PowerPoint is in its flexibility and how easy it is to tweak and refine presentations until they're just right. However, as we all know, not all changes turn out the way we envision them. Maybe that new font doesn't look as good as you thought it would, or perhaps moving that text box has disrupted the slide's balance. That's where the power of undoing comes into play. Look towards the top left corner of your PowerPoint window. Here you'll find the ribbon, a panel filled with various tools and options. Within this ribbon lies the key to undoing your action, the undo arrow. This little icon is more powerful than it looks. Once you click on this undo arrow, the last action you performed on your slide will be reversed. It's like having a time machine at your fingertips, allowing you to step back and try something different whenever you need to. However, there's an even quicker way to undo actions in PowerPoint, perfect for those who love keyboard shortcuts. By pressing Ctrl plus Z, or Command plus Z if you're using a Mac, you can instantly undo your last action. This shortcut key can be a real lifesaver, especially when you're in the flow of editing and don't want to interrupt your rhythm by reaching for the mouse. Implementing the undo function or shortcut in PowerPoint is invaluable, not just for fixing mistakes, but also for exploring creative options without the fear of making irreversible changes. It encourages experimentation, knowing that any action can be easily undone, giving you the freedom to try out as many ideas as it takes to perfect your slides. As you become more familiar with using the undo function in PowerPoint, you'll find that it becomes an integral part of your editing process. Whether it's a simple typo correction or a significant layout adjustment, the ability to quickly reverse your actions will enhance your productivity and confidence in using PowerPoint. So there you have it, a comprehensive guide on how to undo actions in PowerPoint. Remember, whether you prefer clicking on the undo arrow or using the Ctrl plus Z shortcut, the power to easily reverse your actions is at your fingertips, empowering you to polish your presentations to perfection. Now that you're equipped with this knowledge, go ahead and dive into your PowerPoint projects with the assurance that you can effortlessly undo and redo until you achieve the exact outcome you desire. Happy editing and see you in our next video tutorial.